Subscribe to Politico Money on Apple Podcasts here. Subscribe via Stitcher here. Consumers have not yet felt a major hit from President Donald Trump's trade battle with China. But that could change in a major way later this year if the world's two largest economies cannot make a deal. Story continued below in the latest Politico Money podcast. Politico senior trade reporter Doug Palmer explains the potential for Trump to hit more than $500 billion in Chinese imports with tariffs as high as 25% over the coming months. Trump is scheduled to sit down with Chinese Premier Xi Jinping at the Group of 20 summit at the end of the month in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Free traders inside the administration are hoping the bilateral talks forestall another round of tariffs and set up future negotiations. But there's a raging battle inside the White House with hardline trade advisors including Peter Navarro trying to tamp down hopes for the talks and free trade voices including National Economic Council Director Larry Kudlow sounding hopeful. The standoff between Navarro and Kudlow burst into public view on Tuesday with the NEC director, in a CNBC interview, ripping a recent speech by Navarro on China as a disservice to the president. By signing up you agree to receive email newsletters or alerts from Politico. You can unsubscribe at any time. The fear among the free traders is that another big round of tariffs will drive up consumer prices, further impede American exporters, especially farmers, and constrict economic growth. Higher prices caused by tariffs could also push the Federal Reserve into more aggressive interest rate hikes to fight inflation. Also on the podcast, Palmer discusses the potential for Trump to slap tariffs on automobiles imported from Europe as well as the prospects that the next Congress, which will feature a Democratic House majority, will approve Trump's U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement. Jump to sidebar section.